What's up, Penguin Nation? Richie Giuliano, Anthony Romo there on the far left, and pleased to be joined by one of the super seniors here on the Youngstown State baseball team and Lucas Nassani. Lucas, thanks for coming out, man. Thanks for having me. Now, your final season coming up, you've been with this program since 2018. Is it kind of set in that this is going to be your final opening weekend coming up? Uh, yeah, uh, it has a little bit, but also, you know, I don't think it's really going to hit me until uh, kind of towards the end of the season, but, you know, I'm really excited about the start of this season for sure. Now, before we get into the start of this season, I kind of want to touch on last year. You're one of the most unselfish players on this team. Where Coach Berto puts you in the lineup, you moved guys around, you led the Horizon League in <clears throat> sacrifice bunts. Just talk about your role last year and, you know, what you did to move guys and put guys in scoring position. Yeah, you know, um, you know, I just I want to win, so um, I'll do anything that I can do personally to help the team win. We had some, you know, really good players at the top of the lineup last year, and you know if I could move some guys around to um, let those guys drive in some runs, you know I was willing to do it, and it worked, and we had a great season. Now, as mentioned, you've been with the program since 2018, such a long time here in Youngstown. What do you think made last year's group so special, winning 32 games? Um, you know, I think we're, it was a real close group of guys, um, some guys that have been here for, um, you know, a long time and played together, and some of the guys that experienced, you know, some of the, the lows and some of the highs, too. So it was nice to be able to win some games, especially with that group. Yeah, and talk about <clears throat> playing at home as well. I mean, you guys dominated Beast, what, 19-4. and four. You guys had some great crowds on some uh, beautiful series victories against Wright State and some other big-time wins. Just talk about what it was like winning 19 games yeah. at home for the first time ever. Yeah, it's awesome being able to play at home, you know, especially for me being close um, around the area. So having anytime you can have your friends and family there. And uh, we had some some really special times at home with, a, like you said, a lot of fans. And we even had a couple games, not all the games, but some, you know, good weather too. So yeah. it was fun. Yeah, we were able to play well. And anytime you're able to play well at home is, is special. Just talking about how well you guys played at home and just how much of a magical year it was last year. How much did you guys feed off of that home crowd intensity in some of those close games last year? You guys had a good amount of walk-offs at home, which is yeah. – always great in front of your home crowd. Just how much did you guys feed off of that home atmosphere? Yeah, uh, like I said, we love playing at home. And, and when we're winning, you know, we like it even more playing at home. And, um, you know, the field's a little different than some of the other playing surfaces we play on. It's grass. Um, you know, the infield can get real hard, too. But it's something that we were used to. We practiced there. Um, we even, you know, had some shirts made up about the field and stuff. So it was fun. And like I said, when we were winning, it was even more fun. So fifth year coming up here, one of the super seniors on this team, as Richie had noted, if you could go back and tell your freshman self one thing, what would be the hardest thing to transition to with college baseball? Uh, I would say like something I would tell myself as a yeah. freshman. Um, it's more of like mentality and stuff. Um, you know, I think a lot of freshmen are talented and a lot of guys can play this game at a high level. But the older you get, you start, you know, thinking a little different at the play and understanding stuff and uh, understanding what the other team's going to try to do against you and stuff like that. That's where I feel like the experience really, um, you can see it in a lot of the older guys compared to some of the younger guys. Now, you're a Youngstown guy through and through, won a state championship at champion. And, you know, being able to represent that why on your chest for four years at Youngstown State, what has that kind of meant to you throughout your journey here? Yeah, it's meant everything. Um, this this is a program that I wanted to play for ever since you know I can remember. Um, this is why I wanted to come to play college baseball, and I got the opportunities too. And you know it's been special. Now and we call it Nasani Island for a reason <laughs> out there. I mean, last year you covered every part of the outfield. How much pride do you take playing center field? A lot, yeah. I and mean, that's something I, you know, I take a lot of pride. I work very hard in playing the outfield. And, um, you know, we got a lot of other talented guys out in the outfield too. So it's really fun being able to. Um, you know, see the other guys work out there too. Now, nice year for you last year. What are some of your personal goals this year? You might be in a new spot in the lineup. So what are some team and personal goals this upcoming season? I want to win a conference championship for sure. Um, I think we got the guys to do it too, and I'm excited. Now, being a senior on this team, just how much do you embrace that leadership role? You have some new guys on the team this year that are going to have to get acclimated real quick because once the college season starts, there's no slowing down. It's really a rush throughout the season. What do you tell some of these freshman guys to kind of keep them calm down in this first weekend? Um, yeah, um, I've, I've been here for a long time, so I'm, I like to be able to be someone that they can come up and ask, um, you know, questions to. I'm a pretty, pretty calm guy, too. I don't really, um, you know, say a lot of stuff maybe during practices or games, but I feel like I'm very personable and guys can come up to me whenever they want. And, um, you know, I've experienced a lot of highs and a lot of lows individually and, um, 
as a team too. So, you know, I've kind of been through a lot of it. So, if, you know, if they have any questions, I like to be one of the guys they can come up and, um, you know, ask, ask stuff too. And then having experience playing the first part of the year down south, just what is so special about going down there in this nice weather that we don't get to experience here in Ohio in February and early March? Just what makes these early season trips so special to you? Yeah, the weather, the weather definitely, um, it's exciting being able to go out there and not have to, you know, wear long sleeves. And it's going to be different too, um, you know, looking at some of the temperatures for this weekend. But, yeah, the weather makes it really special and some of the nice stadiums I've been able to play in, in the last couple of years. Um, opening up on the road with some big schools. So that's been really fun, too. Yeah, talk about your experience <laughs> collegially. You know, for some of the guys that might want to play college baseball, you've played in some of the most elite atmospheres in the country, opened yeah. up in Mississippi State, Florida State. I mean, we're going to play at Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State this year. Just talk about your overall experience and, you know, to some of the guys that are in high school and what it means to play college baseball. Yeah, um, you know, it's been special for sure. Um, like you said, playing in some of the, some stadiums I never thought I'd be able to get the opportunity to play in. And, um, you know, it's just memories that I've made here at Youngstown State that will last me forever. It's been some of the best years of my life so far. And, you know, I, I just try not to take a day for granted. Now you got any future plans after this last season or just focusing on the 2022 yeah, Youngstown State it, baseball It's so season. close, but it feels so far away at the <laughs> same time, you know. I, I joke with my dad all the time. Um, you know, I'm going to be working here in a, in a couple months, yeah. but, my, you know, my, my biggest worry is how my swing is right now. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not real sure yet, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll figure it out kind of probably towards the half end of the, or back half of the season. All right, let's have a little fun here. We're going to do a rapid-fire questionnaire with you, Lucas. So okay. first question for you, favorite pregame meal? I know you guys love Chipotle before games, so just talk about your favorite pregame meal. Pregame meal? I'm not a giant eater before games. and never have since I've been a kid, um, you know, but – you know, when you play late, too, you have to eat something. So I'm trying to think. I have eggs pretty much every morning. So, I mean, pretty boring, but I'd probably say eggs, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm, I'm not going to say steak or something. That would be a lot. Like, I don't <laughs> eat that much before games. I never could, never have. All right. Favorite video game? Uh, I'm back in Fortnite right now. Yeah, I've been playing. Yeah, we've been playing <laughs> a lot. A bit, yeah. We'll have to bring the box. We will. Right. Right. I'm in. All right. I'm in. Pop up song to get you going before the game. Something you listen oh. to on the bus that's like, all right. Uh, I would say any song from I like Drake and Kevin Gates before the games. Right. I listen to both of those guys a lot. So favorite bat you've ever used in your career? It could go all the way back to ten U baseball on a big barrel, a oh, wood yeah. bat, anything. I know B two combat. It was all gray. It was like a hundred percent composite. I remember when I joined the travel team at Ohio Glaciers, mm -hmm. all the kids were swinging it, and yeah. I, like you couldn't fit in unless you swung. <laughs> yeah. Got my hands on one, and it was crazy. Yeah, started hitting homers and stuff. It was it was crazy bad. <laughs> Favorite MLB player? Andrew McCutcheon. All right, yeah, so you're a Pirates fan. Yeah, ever since I was little, I've liked to cut, so. All right, one last question for you All before right. we let you go. The excitement for you personally this upcoming weekend, as we mentioned and alluded to earlier when we started, this is your last opening weekend of your career at Youngstown State. So just talk about your excitement level. You guys have been indoors for so long, and, you know, you finally get out there and get to be able to compete. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, it feels different. Um, you know, this year, it's, it's my last year, and, you know, I, I kind of simplified things. I just want to go out there and play as hard as I can mm -hmm. and have the most fun as I possibly can, too. It's my, like I said, it's my last ride, so I'm just going to try to, you know, give it everything I have, so I'm excited. Hey, we appreciate you coming Absolutely. on. This is Lucas Nassani, senior outfielder for the Youngstown State baseball team, and our first player profile of the Youngstown State baseball season brought to you by Baird Brothers.